All right, guys, tutorial number four on the DJM 900 Nexus mixer from Pioneer. In video number four, we're going to look at the function here, which is Q mixing and master. This, in turn, will work with the headphone level volume. So, I've got a track ready to play on channel one. It's called Higher by Deception. We'll press play. As you can see, we have the LEDs shining here but no volume, even though I have the slider up and I have the headphone volume up as well. Also note on the master volume, I've set Q. We notice here we have Q, mixing and master. As I now increase the volume here from seven o'clock up to 12, we can now hear through the headphones the track that's playing. Press Q on the master and the volume, the sound has gone. This dial will let the user not only hear what they decide to listen to on the individual channels, but also enable the user to listen to the master volume. So for example, the user could listen to track one, line one, channel one, and if they wish, they could hit the Q button there. They could also have another slider up. So for example, we can hear in the background the other track playing, which is the same song, but of course you can see the Q button isn't highlighted there. That's because the volume is up and the track is being played through the master out. We can see here and here. By moving this dial more clockwise will mean that the user will be able to hear more of that track because we have Q pressed here. And as the user moves the dial clockwise, the user will be able to hear less of any other track. Move the dial anti-clockwise and the opposite will happen. One of the main reasons for this dial is for example, if you're in an environment where you do not have any monitors. It's a good way of getting a good quality, real time sound for the person who wants to do some proper beat mixing. By utilizing this feature, you will not get any echo enabling you to do good beat matching. Hope that's been a help. Tutorial number four, practice and enjoy.